Hi everybody, I'm doing a couple problems from your homework tonight to try to guide you. Um, this again, it's from the quadratic applications worksheet. And, and the first one I'm going to do for you is number one. So I don't have a printer, as I've said, so I literally had to write out the problem. So here is number one on your worksheet. It says find the value, sorry, of x if the area is 78 square meters for the figure below. So they gave you this rectangle in um, on the worksheet, and they want you to figure out what x is if the area is 78 square meters. So what you need to remember is the area of a rectangle is length times width. We know the area is 78 square meters, so 78 is going in for a. It doesn't matter really which one you call the length and the width. I know my two dimensions are x, and then I have to multiply by the other dimension x plus 7. And so after all that we've done so far in this unit, you're going to distribute in the x to get x squared plus 7x. And so everything that we have looked at so far, I hope you can agree or at least remember that you want to get all the terms on one side. So you're going to subtract 78 and write your quadratic in standard form. So you're going to get 0 equals x squared plus 7x minus 78. And so now there's a couple ways you could solve this. You could do quadratic formula. You could do completing the square. You could try to factor. You could not take square roots because you have the b term. And in this case, the b is the 7, the 7x. I'm going to try to factor and see if that works. So I need an x and an x. And I'm looking for factors of negative 78 that add to 7. And it does work. 13 and 6, you would have a positive 13 and a negative 6. I'm, I know it might take some of us a little longer to figure that out, but you can actually find that. Then using the zero product property, remember you're setting each piece equal to 0 and solving for x. So I get x equals 6 <clears throat> and x equals negative 13. Now, if this was just a regular old problem, those would be your two answers. But remember, we're talking about the lengths of a, the length and width of a rectangle. So you're going to throw out the answer of negative 13 because you cannot have a side that is the length of a negative number. You can't have a negative 13 inches. <clears throat> so it asked for the values of x. So the value of x is just 6 and the unit was meters. If you wanted to tell me what the other dimension was, you could, um, but it didn't ask for that. So our answer to that one is just six meters.